Well, welcome back to Live in Our Vision. Hey, everyone. So, you may have heard, we're selling Stella and Wally. <laughs> We've lived in Stella for a little over a year already. We've had Stella and Wally. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how quick that went. We decided that we were going to uh, list Stella and Wally for a little bit lower than what the market price is. And we were going to offer that to one of our viewers. Since our videos are behind, we decided to go ahead and put it to those of you that are on our email list, the Live in Our Vision email list, also our, uh, our Live in Our Vision Facebook page. So uh, we had quite a few responses and we do have a buyer. Um, we're excited for them, they're mm -hmm. very excited. If we didn't get anybody at that point, we were gonna go ahead and put it on our video first uh, before we actually listed it on like RV Trader. So what led us to this crazy idea? <laughs> I know a lot of you think he's been trying to get her in that <laughs> class B van for a long time. And uh, especially since we just did a recent video on uh, a class B. Mm -hmm. But um, keep in mind, we have the choice on what video we decide to put out there. So are we really looking at a class B? Is that what we're thinking about doing? <laughs> Would she still be here right now? <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> Would he still be alive? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we want to talk a little bit today why we have decided to, to do this. The funny thing is, is, as soon as we showed the video of the Class B, and then we said we're selling Stella and Wally, people started saying, Oh, don't do that! Some people were all for it. Some people yeah. live in a Class B and they love it, you know, and some people thought for sure that's what we're doing and they're telling us oh you you won't be able to do this and you won't be able to do that just please know that whatever it is that we're uh, deciding to get into next we we're fully aware of all the pros and cons um we've lived this lifestyle for you know three plus years now right. and not only have we lived in a couple different rvs uh, we we hear a lot about you know the differences that being said we do appreciate everybody's concerns mm -hmm. but, uh, but I think we got it covered <laughs> so here's the reasons why we're going to switch um, recently we had a company that had offered us to uh, represent this manufacturer this company and uh, we were humbled and they selected us to be the one YouTube channel that represents them um, at first we weren't you know we weren't quite sure because we still love our Airstream we love Stella mm -hmm, right. let's go back to when we first started the idea of living full-time in an RV when we were leaving the house and moving to an RV our first concerns then were we're gonna be downsizing a lot from a house, into yeah. a 40 foot Class A, it's still downsizing mm -hmm. a lot and we weren't sure how we would adjust. So we purchased it because of the room that it has, but also because of a childhood dream I've always had about RVing and the Class A was the way I really wanted to to travel. We lived in our Class A just a little right. over two years, mm -hmm. but we started to realize that there was a lot of stressors with that for us. Now keep this in mind, everybody's different because it really has to do with how you live your life mm -hmm. and uh, the things that matter most to you when you're traveling full-time in an RV and living this lifestyle. So with that being said, we had a lot of stressors then and that was mainly because we were working full-time all during the week, working some long hours and then as you know, we're filming on the weekends and so I always had a lot of these things in the back of my mind, things that needed to be done on Vinny mm -hmm. or Class A. When we went to Stella, the Airstream, um, it did. It got rid of a right. lot of stressors, not just for me, but for Michelle as well. Mm -hmm. The workspace, that part of it, I don't know, it's kind of a 50-50. You know, I was pretty comfortable working at the at the front seat of the Class A. That, that seat is very cushy. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that we found when you're working long hours, it doesn't matter what chair you have. <laughs> 
it, eventually it's going to it, start it wears hurting. on you yeah, <laughs> yeah. You the most comfortable chair it doesn't matter after a long mm -hmm. time of sitting mm -hmm. it wears on you and you get uncomfortable regardless but as far as um, the airstream it's worked out really well for us mm -hmm. it's like a it's a perfect floor plan mm -hmm. for for living full time for love, for us. Right, we love this floor plan. Yeah, it had a nice bathroom. It has a nice workspace for Michelle. Now the where I was working all the time at the bench, it's comfortable when you first sit on it, but then after a while, it got um, tiresome. It's not really set up for sitting there working long periods of time. Right. But, and then the way the seating is set up for our big projection TV right here in front of us, that was really nice. It's not meant for a family because mm -hmm. the only other place you have to sit is the, you know, is the table over there, the bench, our, our dinette. For two Again, people, yeah. it was, we feel it's perfect. Um, it just really depends on the way you live and what matters most to you. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the reasons why we're going to switch. When we had this opportunity from this company, and like I said, at first we we weren't sure. After a while, thinking about it, we thought, well, kind of a perfect opportunity for us, not only to represent this company. And by the way, when we did talk with this company, we told them that we always, always are very transparent about anybody that we're affiliated with, mm -hmm. any products, it doesn't matter. We're going to tell the truth about the product and and they're fine with that and and to us that spoke volumes about their confidence mm -hmm. with their product we saw an opportunity for us to educate you educate others um, about living in something different other than a class a other than the travel trailer the airstream um and for you to learn from our mistakes or whatever it may be and hopefully it's it's a lot of pros right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh so that you can learn from us along the way and see how we transition with it how it's working out with it you know for us working is there any pros to it compared to the last two rvs that we had it's going to help us learn and grow more it, it's easy to sit back and tell somebody um let's take the class b for instance that Oh, you're going to have to, if you don't pull a car behind it, you're going to have to disconnect and <laughs> everything right before. But there's a lot of pros to that also. Um, if you have a big fifth wheel, let's say, you know, there's, there's a lot of things you can tell people about that also. A lot of these things are really kind of common sense that a lot of us, you know, know about and think about. Um, some of us that's never had any experience don't know. Um, and that's okay because we all have to start somewhere it's going to be a learning experience for everyone mm -hmm. again we're humbled for the opportunity to be invited to to work with this company um, we can't give details right now we can't give details about what we've agreed to um, it's all confidential stuff between us and the company but um, but we do see a lot of benefit to doing this even though we love Stella we're in a different situation than y'all are <laughs> <laughs> All right um, we're at first we were looking for that perfect RV to live in and fulfill my dream you know and which I think this one right here and uh, and now She's loving it because of all the traveling that we're doing and she's able to work remotely um, so many benefits to it and hopefully things will go smooth through this transition and we'll all learn something from it there's no matter what rv you get no matter which one you live in there's going to be pros to it and there's going to be cons to mm -hmm. it and um, people are going to say you're crazy it, you can't make everybody happy and that's okay we understand that but um but just just have a little faith in us we, we do know what we're doing here regardless of the cons, regardless of the pros, a lot of it is, um, has to do with the business of this YouTube channel. And, and, um, it's not only about the entertainment part of it, mm -hmm. you know, and entertaining you guys and being the goose that we are every day, which is real by the way. Mm -hmm. And it, it's also about, um, the education part of it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even though there may not be something that we tell you that, that really stands out that you need to watch for or something you may see something that sticks with you that uh, makes you realize that 
oh, I don't like that, or, oh, I never thought of that. So, so let's just pray for the best, right? Right. Want to talk about your oh, shirt? Oh, sure. Um, Where's so, the pie? Is it the same lady that uh, came up with the line, where's the beef? No, oh. no. So a couple of our followers, Billy and Cindy Smith, got me this shirt and gave it to me when we were at our meet and greet in Tampa. And uh, absolutely love it. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah. It was, it was very thoughtful. Very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to get down there, too. It's Where's at this the pie? Oh, Yoder's. Yoder's. An Amish village. Mm -hmm. Yoder's restaurant, Amish village. It's down in Sarasota. Yeah, so we're going to, we looked and it was about, what, an hour and 40 minutes or something yeah. like that from here. Yeah. We're at Orlando Thousand Trails mm -hmm. still. But yeah, that was, uh, that very was very thoughtful. sweet. Mm-hmm. So it's all an education thing. I know I keep saying that, but please try to keep that in mind and, um, you know, just try to stay positive about the whole thing. You might find an RV that fits perfect for you and you want to stay in that, which we totally get it. We understand that. Right? Right. Let's check and see if you're still there. <laughs> you got a pulse? I'm, I'm thinking too much of pie. I, there's not a ton with this, uh, with this rig to, to maintain, uh, the roof is good. The ACs are good. Um, all day system is good now. Yeah. That, that system you really don't have to do anything with other than, you know, releasing the air cushion every once in a while. Uh, we did have a water pump go out on us recently. Uh, actually the water pump didn't go out on us. Let me back up a little bit. What had happened is, and I'm going to tell you guys about this just in case if it ever happens to any of you that have not experienced this before don't know about this but um as you know like some rvs have uh, when you have your city water hooked up to your rv outside uh, some rvs have a lever that you can like just flip that lever over and then your city water is going to fill your fresh tank so the fresh tank is the water obviously that you use if you're dry camping so you have a tank full of water and some rvs like ours doesn't have that lever so there again, there's a valve there if you have that. And ours just has a hole in the side of the RV that you stick the hose in and you fill the fresh tank that way. What happened was we were hooked up to city water and all of a sudden we noticed on our gauges up here on the Firefly system that the fresh tank was slowly filling. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute, we don't have any valves on the outside. How is that filling? And I got thinking about it and I'm like, well, the water lines go through to the pump and that is it. That's the only thing. So there must be a valve inside the pump that is slowly opening and allowing that water to backfill past that valve and filling our fresh tank. And sure enough, that's what it was. So you can get, you know, you can get, get a valve assembly, but all the water and different parks that we go to with the you know the calcium of course you have your filters that help with all of this stuff i thought you know i might as well go ahead and just replace the whole pump a valve assembly is like 13 14 dollars you can get it off of amazon and uh, i found this same pump right on amazon for 86 dollars something like that exact same pump same brand same model number everything and I just wanted to replace the entire pump, even though you don't have to you know, on a situation like that, because when you start replacing parts, then you end up having to replace the whole pump later anyway. Mm -hmm. And we wanted it to be in tip top condition for the next owners of Stella. Mm -hmm. We love you, Stella. <laughs> so that's, that's it. That's all yeah. I've had to do, you know, had to do to it. And, um, we're going to fill up the propane tanks. Uh, you know, there's not a lot. We haven't had any issues. You know, the mm -hmm. only issue we've had was with the Alda system yep. and we bought it that way. Right. And that's just one of those things, you know, luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it wasn't the seller didn't necessarily know that. Um, it's just something that can happen. Right. You can buy an RV and just something, I mean, that's what happens. Things right. just, when they go bad, they go bad. Right. You know, this, this had sat for a while and that was probably part of the issue. But as soon as we got that fixed, it's been great. People like to uh, like to insinuate and say that, oh my gosh, you sure having a lot of problems with that <laughs> system. No, we bought it that way and we lived with it that way for a long time, mm -hmm. only because we didn't want to have it fixed just anywhere. 
we wanted to go somewhere at Truma, all the, mm -hmm. in Indiana, where they, we knew they had all the parts. Didn't have to sit and wait for something, you know, to be ordered. They had technicians that worked on them before. Not somebody like some of the Airstream places that we talked to. But we've either, they, they said that they didn't have anybody that worked on it, or they didn't work on them. Or we've had one guy that's worked on one one time, and we didn't feel comfortable with that either. So we were trying to avoid it being sitting in a mm -hmm. shop for a long time because they're diagnosing it. And then, oh, we got to order parts. Oh, that part's not right. All to when it boils down to two, three months later that, oh, the whole system needed replaced when we just bypassed all of that and lived with it and used the resorts, shower houses, and uh, waited till we got to Truma and mm -hmm. had it all fixed at once. The flow tank, they didn't replace that at the time. I'm still confused why they didn't because that's the one thing. If it's not cared for properly, the, the tank can expand. Well, they still took care of us when we were at the Hershey show. We mm -hmm. told them that, hey, yeah. you know, it went bad. And uh, so they replaced that. So now the entire system is brand new. It's very nice. It's nice. You don't even hear the heat running. Mm -hmm. and, and the hot water, the continuous hot water is nice. But okay, enough about Stella. That's all we wanted to talk about today. I'm kind of giving you a little, mm -hmm. a little segue getting into um, getting that new RV, that, mm -hmm. that Outlander. Oops. <laughs> and you did touch on um, things are going to move fairly quickly um yeah. so yeah we're going to be yeah. kind of cleaning house a little bit and yeah yeah we we uh not that we're trying to downsize we're trying to we, we've realized even after we took stuff out and we did downsize from the class a to this mm -hmm. we're noticing we still have a lot of we stuff that we don't need we still hoard i don't know yeah i don't know how to get away from it Some... but some of it's closed. I know. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, there's there's still things that we have in here that we haven't used since we moved in here. Yeah. So, you know, uh, just need to clean up, declutter a little bit more. And, um, and then, yeah, we're going to be moving along pretty fast. Yeah. So we don't want to leave you hanging. Um, that's not our intention. So to give you a little bit of a time frame, we're looking at probably March is when this is going to mm -hmm. all come together and we should have a video out um, about what we're, what we're getting. Mm -hmm. And then let the fun begin. <laughs> but we have more exciting stuff coming too. And we that, do? We, oh yeah. Oh my, there's more She stuff. forgot. But anyway, but yes, we're gonna leave you hanging on that one. We can't, we can't spill the beans on that yet. <laughs> but I think that about it. I think so. Time to call it a day. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.